Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Vice City. On this part, we're going to be purchasing the movie uh, film studios, and we're going to be doing these missions. Let's do it. Film studio purchased. This is, I think, the largest property that you purchased. Um, out of all of them, I'm trying to remember. Is the print works bigger? Um, I'm not sh sure. But I know this is one of the largest properties that you bu uh, buy. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art! Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you... What's that guy think this is? Some free art crap? <laughs> Geez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? Basically, um, uh, the the director when he constantly like references sharks, that's kind of a parody off of the movie Jaws and kind of all the sharks and like especially like '80s movies. That's kind of what Rockstar are making fun of there. Okay, go around here. And there's actually an apartment that you can purchase here, but I will purchase that um later. Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. But you you'd have to talk partner. to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have yeah, stayed at home you today. Can you believe this asshole? Oh, you Whoa, okay, yep. <laughs> Damn, okay. Oh, you wanna eye jammy? What did you expect? Okay, let's go and take him out now. I made a mistake getting on the bike first. Okay, now I'm catching up. Here we are. Ah. Oh, there's more sharks, too. This guy's using sharks as bodyguards. It's the gang. Uh, okay, let's get him here. Oh, my God. Time to follow suit, honey. How many guys are, does he have in those cars? Like, he just keeps stopping and dropping more guys out. I completely forgot about this part. Why did you use the brake, idiot? Okay. Oh, let's take the sport bike, actually. That'll be even better. And now the film studio missions, um... There are some... Some of them are actually pretty difficult. Um, I'll explain them. This first mission is kind of, like, okay. It's, it's, it, it can take a little bit longer if, like, um... If the pimp actually runs away that far. Um, but, you know, I got him. But I forgot that, like, he, he gets more and more guys in his car. And then he keeps, um, constantly stopping and... And I'm uh, letting them out, but I com uh, I completely forgot about that part of the mission. We're 
probably gonna need a four-door car here also on this part. Come on, let's go. Okay, oh wait, this is perfect. Sentinel, I think this car is called. You're under I arrest. Didn't need to offend you. Oh, I love that song. It's a shame I can't play it because of copyright, but um uh Okay, let me see here. Yeah, okay. So we gotta go and pick up Mercedes at the pizza restaurant. So that's pretty much the rest of the mission. You just go and pick up Mercedes, and then you just drive back to the film studios. So remember, this is Colonel Cortez's daughter, that's Mercedes, um... Hey, Mercedes, you messed up my time here. You wanna yes, party? Yeah, now, now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's I cheap and sleazy. Yeah, <laughs> you're hired. Get in. Okay, so now we just get back to the film studios. Yeah, sometimes the NPCs get a- oh no, there's more sharks! Okay, sometimes the NPCs, um, struggle to actually get into the, uh, car. They'll get, like, stuck on the sides of buildings, but like I said in my previous part, Mercedes was actually originally supposed to be the first, um, girlfriend in a GTA game. Um, she was supposed to be Tommy's love interest, and there was actually a lot of dialogue recorded with her, and new mi and there was other missions that were gonna be involving her, but for some reason, Rockstar cut them from the game. Now, this island is kind of strange, Prawn Island. Every single building on this island is abandoned except the film studio. Hey, Tommy. You coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. Whoa. <laughs> cool shark. <laughs> the shark is just so stupid. Um... Oh, this mission. Yeah, this mission I remember. I remember this one well. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. <laughs> what I say about the giant shark? I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. So again, he wanted to put the shark um in reference to Jaws. Um. I wouldn't do that. Okay, now we use the seaplane here, and this is the uh, there was actually an airplane in Vice City. It's this one here. Now there's fuel in this plane, and um. The reason people really don't like this mission is because, um, uh... Is because there's actually- the, the places that you have to drop the flyers on, it's actually near a lot of buildings. And you can actually hook on to a lot of those buildings easily. Okay. Okay, we'll come back for that other one there. 
but yeah, we you gotta watch out to hit the buildings, and you also gotta watch out because there's a timer. Oh, I have to fly to a specific checkpoint with these, uh... Okay, I forgot about that. So I have to fly from, like, when you, when you hit one of the checkpoints, you gotta fly to another one. And drop the flyers there. That's how you gotta do it. Okay, so we'll try to hit these in a pattern here. And this plane is actually pretty fast and pretty agile. There we go. Not bad there. Got it, three more left. Yeah, we're making, definitely we're making good time right now. The plane in GTA 3 was just pretty difficult for me to control. Oh, okay, that was close. Gotta watch out for the tree there. Okay, here we go, and, uh, get this next here. Oh, this is, I think, the hardest one. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the hardest one, never mind. Oh yeah, this is, I think this is the hardest one right now here. Gotta try to make a turn over the ocean. Got it, ooh. I bet a lot of you guys can't believe that I, I hit that one right there, huh? But there we go, we got that. Let's get on back to the film studios now. You can land this in the water, but the thing is, I'm just always really scared of the water in Vice City, because I'm scared I'm going to make one mistake, and I'm going to land in the water, and Tommy's going to die. Huh. Tommy. Sonny. Obviously, you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Yeah, that is the one of the most ridiculous phone calls in a GTA game. That is, um, uh, that's the Sunny phone call. So when you buy enough businesses, Sunny calls you and says, "Where's the damn money?" and just starts screaming on the phone. And so that's um, that's definitely one of the most unique, funniest phone calls in a GTA game. Probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera. So I'm sorry that I had to cut most of that cutscene there, guys, but I'm just personally scared of YouTube giving me another strike because um, uh, that cutscene, I would, I guess, you know, some people would argue that it's a bit controversial, and um, I've gotten a strike before on YouTube just for playing Call of Duty World at War. Like, I got a, an actual community guideline strike from YouTube for saying that I was um, playing um, harmful and brutal content on the channel when I was just playing a video game. So I'm just pretty cautious with, like, you know, hey, you know, stuff that might be controversial that comes up on screen. You know, I know it's part of the video game, but, you know, I wish I could show everything, but I'm just, you know, nervous about getting another strike from YouTube, so I'm sorry about that, everyone. Um, but anyways, um, uh, in this mission, basically what's going on is Congressman, um, uh, Shrubs is actually cheating on his wife 
with, um, uh, candy. And so he actually is, um, lobbying for new laws regulating the adult film industry. And so basically, Candy is gonna go meet up with him, and Tommy is to take pictures of the congressman and blackmail him, so he doesn't put those new laws into effect. And in this mission, you can follow Candy with the helicopter. You should take the helicopter, because it makes the mission a bit easier, but you don't even need the helicopter. You can actually follow her um, by car, but it is a bit difficult to find a car on Prawn Island, because it's pretty much a deserted island. Now, she's not too far from her destination now. And so you guessed it, that Congressman Shrubs' um, a name is actually inspiring um, Congressman Stubbs in GTA The Lost and Damned later on. But basically, the Congressman actually purchased Gonzalez's old penthouse, so you see how much corruption is involved with this Congressman. Hey! Okay, so now we gotta go up to the hotel, and there's actually a perfect place to take a photo from. And now we have to leave the helicopter somewhere that we can get to it pretty easily. Okay. And, um, what I like doing in this mission is I actually leave the helicopter right here. Pretty sure that I can, um... I'm pretty sure that I can, uh, yeah. From the street, let's see, can I access- yeah, I can access through the street, just checking. So we're gonna need a fast exit, um, on this mission. Okay, so right here, let's get into the hotel. Okay, gotta get up to the top floor here. Okay, now we got perfect vantage point here. We gotta take three pictures. Martha, someone's watching. How kinky. You, give me that camera. Now we got a five star wanted level in the F FBI after us. So apparently taking pictures of a corrupt congressman gets you, um, of uh, uh, the FBI after you. And now, the staircase, you gotta be be really careful on the staircase, the enemies can kill you really quickly in this mission. Yeah, so see that? I lost like half of my armor from that. Keep going on with that shit! Okay, I got all of them there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, great. No, no, no. Okay, gotta go around to the building here. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look at this with the cops, right? This is why I like taking the helicopter over here. Take off, take off, take off! Okay, oh man. Yeah, escaping the police on this mission is just a bit ridiculous. 
Okay, come on, come on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy... You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! Oh my god, I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, my stress level's right now. That mission. Oh, oh man. Sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping oh. action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon in the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, premieres. Oh, yes, ma'am. Of course, ma'am. And the press and the barrage of lights. Okay, so here we go. Now, this mission is actually inspired by the, um, movie True Lies. In that mo movie True Lies, the 1990s movie, there's a scene with where Arnold Schwarzenegger's character is chasing a terrorist who drives into a sky, uh, a building with a motorcycle. He drives into an, um, elevator like this, and he takes up the top, he go basically goes up to the upper floors of the skyscraper and then jumps from, like, the building to building with a motorcycle. So let's look that up on YouTube, um, uh, True Lies motorcycle scene, you'll see it. And also the, um, the, uh, scene in, um, uh, in Vice City Stories, the final mission is also based on True Lies. Um, the helicopter scene at the end, but that was a fighter jet in the movie. So here we go, let's do this. I want to try to do this without falling off the, uh, building. Just one go here. I want to go a little slow on this here. There we go. to gain some speed on this jump here. No, no! Ah. That really sucks. I was doing so well. I think there's a staircase on one of these buildings here. Yeah, and so the staircase actually opens up when you get close to it. He's doing pretty good there, and I got unlucky. Ah! See, so you, you, you lose your momentum. You're doing, you're doing good, and then you, you mess up once, and then you lose your momentum, and then you keep messing up. Um, 
Damn, that sucks so much. And what sucks is that, um, uh, what, what's kind of annoying about this mission, I think everyone can pretty much agree whether you like this mission or not, is that in this mission, is that if you, um, uh, and I gotta get a new bike, even if you hit the jumps properly, like, even if you hit them properly, without crashing or anything like that, it still damages the bike. And so you still, your bike still gets damaged over time, which is just very frustrating. Um... Oh, come on, you gotta be... That's it. I guess we're taking the bike the hard way now. Okay, there we go, we got this. Try this again now. We don't got much room for a jump on this one. So that's how Tommy was promoting his um uh his movie at the end there. And now that should complete the film studio. Film studio asset completed. How much does it make a day? Eight thousand, I believe. Seven thousand. Okay, so it makes you seven thousand dollars a day, which is still pretty good. And so there we go, we finished the um, film studio. Thank you guys for watching. On the next part, I'll have the taxi business on the next part up. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.